Hello and welcome back to Adam. Oh, look at that. Pretty lady walking by. Uh, we are exploring the area, uh, talking to the locals, and Fidel joined us. So it's a two-man team right now, which is a lot better. As far as I know, he doesn't have um, a weapon, but I don't know. I'm not even sure what he's good at. You wanna talk? <clears throat> Before you stands a young skinny woman with tired eyes and a long and long pair of hands. Upon seeing you, she gives you a nod. Hmm, what? Oh yeah. Hey, can I ask you some questions? Oh yeah, I can leave it there if I want to. How's life around here? It's not too bad. There's strength in numbers, you know. It's a nice enough city, constantly developing and all. <clears throat> There's a lot of work to be done all around. Yep, that's about it, I guess. What kind of jobs? How about yourself? What can I tell you about myself? Hmm. Well, my name is Tanya. I live here with my mother. She's gotten very old and has many infirmities, especially this year. She nags me all the time to find a husband, says I'm getting old, soon to be 30. But how will she live if I marry someone? She won't cope without me, and I won't leave her because of it. Suitors are always easy to find. Some days I go to the dance hall, and there are a ton of guys asking me for a dance. Yeah, but, like, not all of them are... are like, how do you know? Like, how do you know which one you want to be with? On the long term? Or don't you care? You must care. Like, I can understand that kind of thinking. That, oh, I'm just gonna do this, and I'll, and I'll, I'll do my other plans or other whatever I, I plan to do later. But, that's a bit of a trap, usually. I see. May I ask you something else? What's you in town? Huh? Well, uh, do you like music? Our tech viz from the dance club crafted some speakers. Speaker for each of the four corners of the hall. Now you can dance there, surrounded by music. You know, from all sides, it's so good. You never wanna stop. Heard any good rumors lately? Heard some nut jobs settled in the sewers. It's drying down there now, since we don't have anyone who'd like to become a plumber. Some boys who went down there said all the walls of the pipes are covered in weird rude drawings and the creep himself he started spying on the city's girls if a girl is walking near the sewer entrance wearing a skirt this bastard is right there eyeing her making whistling sounds what a creepo i concur what the hell nothing unusual but still Fresh onions, right from the garden. So many guys. What the hell is that? Is that like a, a really makeshift breeding apparatus? Gas mask? Before he is a man in a custom made mask. He looks around and speaks to his friend from time to time. But you notice that his attention is kept on a strange couple of men in the other part of the market. Oh, a new face of the market. Huh, listen up, lady. Before, beware of the two guys, no matter what they offer you. Don't take it, their currency is a lie. As he speaks, the man points toward a bathrobe wearing person and the man wearing a kimono. Is this the guy? Don't you listen to those two, <clears throat> ever. I won't, it won't be just you who will suffer it will also be your wealth and perhaps even your psyche we fell for the tricks so now we are here tricking thinking what we should do to save our hides and our village by the way if you help us out we'll reward you with what you lost all your money getting scammed by those two i'll say that it all revolves around what you want me to do, so speak up. 
we came here to buy some grain for the needs of our people uh, from the deep woods. And it would all work out too, if it wasn't for those meddling calm men over there. Here we are, pulling like a ton of grain on our backs, and they come to us. They say, Comrades, what would you say if I told you there is no need to haul this grain all the way to your village? You can switch it for cr cryptocurrency, then trade it back for grain when you're closer to home. Sounds great. They then present us with garbage-like buttons, pucks, bottle caps and such, and tell us we could exchange our grain for this junk. And we are closer to our village, we just need to find a cryptocurrency dealer who will take the garbage and give us back the grain. Buttons and caps are easy to carry around the woods, so we fell for it. We sealed the deal. Oh my god. So what was the catch? Well, we'll later figure out that we need to find another cryptocurrency trader to get our grain back. And there's no such people where we are from. Or here. Everyone just laughs at us when we offered them buttons and bottle caps. We were even chased out of a store. But wait, there's more. When we came back to those two jokers, they already sold the grain. For rubles. <gasps> There's really nothing we can do right now without starting a fight that would get us kicked out of town or jailed. But you're a fresh face, maybe you could talk to them and help us uh, get our money or grain back. Uh, I promise nothing. Try to influence them somehow, you know. You seem like a charismatic type of person. Alright. <laughs> They dress like monks. <laughs> Before you stands a ten tall man wearing a bathrobe and some slippers. Upon seeing you, he livens up. Oh, hello! Please, could you ask me how I know that you're a lady that's deeply interested in learning of modern crypto technologies? I don't care. Shut it, I'm here for the guys that you stole from. That's not gonna work. I didn't know that. Did you know that computer literacy went from 0 to 1% in the waste in just the last year? It's not all because of meeting automated com computerized turrets on old military bases. No, the digital age comet. A technologically literate person should start saving money in the most digital way there is. How do I do that? Easy. Do you have, say, hundred, a, a thousand rubles? If so, I would gladly trade those for... <sighs> Man searches uh, the pockets of his robes while wearing a long, happy grin. For this pinecone! It's smaller than a, a vat of cash, and no bandit will ever think to steal it. But between you and me, its price will be... A thousand rubles. Another cryptocurrency dealer will see it as one thousand rubles. This is how it all works. Yeah, that's great. How about you give me your money? So how many traders take pine cones as currency nowadays? It does seem strange that your simple question makes the dealers step back and go pale. Well, um, currency <clears throat> currently is just me. Although even I can only trade pine cones for rubles one way, meaning you won't get your cash back. But in the foreseeable future, many would take up cryptocurrency, more than 10% of the population. And that's just the start. <sighs> Shut it, I'm just here for the guys you stole from. You. You're talking about the masked barbarians, huh? We never stole from them. Their money is in a much safer place nowadays, and it will be spent in the glory of progress. Or for finding a new assistant for our cause, entering the crypto market asks for commercial risk, and they knew it. If I won't help them, they will go 
they all go to the guards. You really want that kind of trouble? Yeah, that's a good point. Hmm, Krasno is a way too good of a platform to give it up because of some idiots. We don't want trouble with the guards. Here, have this uh, for the grain they gave us. And we're going to lay low for a while until some changes occur in the industry. A thousand rubles? We're, we're keeping that. <laughs> <laughs> the bathroom man hands you a bunch of cash and as his partner eyes the transaction with regret. Good choice. Now get the hell out of this city. Shame on you. You see them round wow. So what happened? They didn't give me money. That's that's pretty much a bummer. I decided not to harm them, but I got your money back. Don't fall for the for stuff like that anymore. I scared them, scared them half to death and made them run. But they already spent the money they got for your grain. Oh. The shoulders of both men slump. You don't need to see their faces to know. They are devastated by what happened. Damn it, what do we do now? The silent partner of the man you are talking to waves in, abstract di in an abstract direction. You think we should go home, Riba? Oh damn, our heads will be put on pikes. But that's just life for you, let's go. Sorry guys, I did what I could. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, I need that money, okay? <clears throat> They will be fine. Oh, look at this guy stuck! What the fuck? Fishes? Like, huge meat? I don't think... Look at that meat! That's crazy! It's a big cheese, sausage, milk... What the fuck? This is really good. Mustache Market Man looks at you with a kind smile. Urging the potential customers to his counter and constantly rearranging his goods to make them look more attractive. Hey there, come and have a look, please. You want to buy something? We have many riches here. Are you gonna give me a discount? No, fuck off. <laughs> Tough luck. Uh, anyway, show me the goods. Hmm. Yeah, we don't really need this. This lowers radiation as well, the moonshine. Oh, there is a chance to get addicted. Oh, that's not good for me. Uh, suit yourself, you're losing customer. I'm leaving. What a bastard. What is this? I can't read that. What, what did she say? I feel like having a... This place is kinda big. Okay, let's talk to this guy first. Or I talk to this guy. I don't need your help. What about this guy? Uh, there's a short disheveled uh, man standing by the entrance to the shed. His eyes are... A darting from side to side as he sees you the man slaps himself on the knee and blurts out with fake enthusiasm oh man <clears throat> I don't want to shout hello miss uh, did you come uh, to Take a look at the Pearl of Krasno today, only for you. In his room, we have a real deal mummy of the father of the world proletariat, our comrade Lenin. Uh, I'm not interested in things like that. Corpses scare me. Oh, but it's not a corpse, it's a mummy. You absolutely need to see it for yourself. A true connoisseur like yourself. I'm ready to show this unique, historic, captivating sight for a mere 15 rubles. Amiga. He's a common crook. He's just taking advantage of what people in the wasteland have become completely... Uh, that have become completely uneducated. Hey, hey, hey. No one needs your opinion. An 
educated man my ass. Maybe some other time. I'm leaving. <laughs> Fuck that guy. What is this? <gasps> the, the face kind of looks like a guy. A young woman standing in front of you is rather attractive, but there's something repellent about her. Her troubled, restless, somewhat wild gaze, strange matters and unnatural, serene smile on her frozen face. As, he, as she sees you, the woman makes a gesture you have never seen before, with two fingers of her right hand, and lowers her head. Oh. <clears throat> Those weren't your feet, but Mother Cosmos that brought you together today with the Saint Martyr for the truth. War no, ba War no Banana Devi Krishnu? In the name of the Sitting Wolf, I often teach lessons of the utopian religious anarchy in this town, in spite of the hypocrisies pushing me away. You must have heard my speech. Tell me, servant of God, did I manage to convince you that any earth authority is false? <laughs> I know offense, but tell me, you're insane, right? Why are you asking the wrong person? Like, not at all, there must be authority, it can't be any other way. Absolutely, we shall start with the purge of the authority ranks, mistress. Uh, well, you're right, like, I, I don't care for authority that much. But you don't need to convince me of that. I'm too much of a rebel for even take you seriously. So, no offense, you're insane, right? <clears throat> Doon sniffs smugly and folds her arms on her chest as if she is just one of substantial debates. Ah, oh. I understand, child. Not all of us can see. Remain under your rock of unfolded accusations and rigid medieval morals. Oh, here we go. Failed logic going back to name calling. Here we go. As for me, it's time for me to bring food, uh, bring good tidings to the lovely little village of Otradnoi. Uh, I do make more mistakes, partially because the text is pretty small. It's very small, as there's no way to make it bigger. Uh, with a commanding hand movement, she summons her associates and they all leave together. Yeah, fuck off! <laughs> that was easy. Who the hell are you? Love the hair. <clears throat> You're still staring after these five when a surprisingly well-dressed man with a clean haircut approaches you. He stands next to you and places his hands akimbo on his hips. Did you see that? That's the sort of people who are roaming the wastelands these days. Oh, well, times, oh, the moles. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna squint my eyes. Alright, and who are you? Oh, how impolite of me. I want to offer you a job, an opportunity to make some money, but I compl completely forgot to introduce myself. My name is Igor, and I represent a scientific charity called Mycelium, or as our enemies nicknamed us, the Mushroom Cult. <laughs> oh. Oh. That 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 second name is pretty bad, but I have to say even the first one is terrible. We, however, are anything but a cult. Yeah, like how are you gonna convince me of that? Oh. You mentioned the opportunity to make some money. What is it you need me to do? The man comes closer. Unlike most wasteland dwellers, he doesn't stink of body odor, alcohol, or any other, even more unpleasant substances. He only smells of clean clothes and a bit of road rust. Wow, really? The thing is, I've been following the activities of this so-called David Christu for a long time. 
and the conclusions I've <coughs> drawn are rather grim. We are dealing with a leader of a potentially very dangerous cult. Oh my fucking god. So, cults are out to get cults. Get to the point. Do you want me to kill her? <laughs> the man waves his hands in horror. <laughs> Look, man. A lot of chatty folk in town. I'm losing my patience. No! What are you talking about? It? It's not that radical. You look like someone who knows how to behave in the wasteland. So I would like to offer you to follow these cult members for a while to find out whether they are really dangerous. Before you say anything else, what I'm gonna get for it? Money, items <clears throat> needed for your journey, food, anything you want. It will depend on the results of your investigation. But what is this? Can I ask for stuff up front? Especially for the mushroom from the mushroom cult? Alright, you convinced me. How exactly should I be following them? As far as I know, Devi Christu and her disciples are on a small tour around the wasteland. She is determined to find some new poor souls who would believe her dubious sermons. Right now, they are on their way to a small village of Otradnoi. Intercept her there and learn about their future plans. Okay, I'll do that. <clears throat> Great, once you get enough information, come back to me. Anyway, if you have any questions about our organization, don't hesitate either, just approach me. I'm nearly always standing here in the suburb of Krasno. Yeah, but people move around. So, while I think that people moving around uh, more so, well, maybe he doesn't move around, I don't know. But, like, a lot of a lot of NPCs move around. And that just makes them a bit tricky to find, usually. Piggies! Is this the same woman? I should go to work. <clears throat> Before you stand a bony, middle-aged woman, she looks around with suspicion and constantly wipes her weathered, sunburned linen dress. Hello, can I ask you some questions? Um... Uh, what, right? How's life here? We live, we work, yep. We work all the time, and when we don't... We stand in lines, or help our relatives with money, or hold places in lines for others. There's a huge deficit, don't you know? Anyway, we live like all the rest. If we didn't, those demons would swallow us alive. What do you do for fun? Tell me about yourself. I'm just a simple woman. I keep the house, nobody else would. Everything is on my shoulders, don't you know? If I can get bread, if I can get some meat, even dog meat, we could live another day. And it's okay. As long as I hurry, everything will be just fine. Wow, this might be... Uh, well, she's definitely nominated based on the first two responses as for the most generic NPC of all time. What's new in town? Oh, all sorts of stuff. You can buy some sour milk. I don't care. Heard any good rumors lately? I heard of a great way to dispose of lice. You need to bury all your clothes, leaving only one tiny part of the... out of the ground. After a day, all those hateful insects will gather on this tiny thread what a rumor, right? I can't wait to see if it's true. Good luck with that! Uh, like, with this NPC, I think it would have been better if her line was simply Fuck off, I'm working. Nope. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, there is nothing here. I'm not against, like, uh, uh, completely unrewarding exploration, but I suppose they, they, if they, the river just went like that and you couldn't go there, uh, that would have been okay. <laughs> Let's just take off. We made some money. Did we scam people? Well, we didn't scam people. Someone else did. KP free. 
I feel like having a stroll. You're actually having a stroll right now. Oh, that's, that's Tanya. Welcome to die. Who, whoever is living here, I wanna say hi. What? <laughs> Ask for help. Ooh, look at that. Nothing. Not great. Sure. Locked. It worked. Pre-war vodka, that's actually useful. Not terribly valuable, but useful. Magnifying glass? Gives me some extra tinkering, but do we need to equip it? Where would we go about equipping it? Oh, it's gotta be in the slot. Alright. If that's Tanya, then who that is? Oh. That's what I'm talking about! She moved all the way from here to here. And now I don't know who I talked to already. I don't remember talking to... They all look the same! I don't care! I don't even know her name! And I still don't care. Okay, what is the next step? Fuck me. So, we have some business in Otradnoi. Otradnoi. Trade house bunker. Oh man. Okay, close. So many missions. But I suppose I is I gotta keep talking to people to get the missions. And this is part of uh, Krasno. But there's not much going on here. There's really nothing going on here. I feel like it, it would have been better if they just uh, made this area smaller. Because there's really nothing here, and that's not good. Yeah, there's nothing here. Like, really nothing here. Okay. But I gotta check, of course. Because I gotta check, even if it's nothing. But I do think this is a... Uh, uh, possibly a mistake. I suppose uh, personal preference uh, plays a role, but uh, yeah, there's not much going on here. Oh, we got a man. I wish I had time to wash up. Well, you gotta make the time. What? It's the same fucking guy. They're in the factory. Ah, <sighs> yeah. The great Britain lives. There's a English guy here? No, there's no one here. Well, uh, that that sign should have been a, a dead giveaway. But yeah. Some flowers. Okay, so this is kind of like the outskirts of this fortress. It's, it's a little bit like a medieval castle and with like peasants with their farms outside, but except they don't have farms. Maybe like yeah, they do. They do have farms. Yeah, it's exactly like that, basically. I take it. Anything is good for us. Anything can be sold, and I'm pretty happy that I chose. Uh, pretty. Well, I wouldn't say high, but like least average. We have six strength, which allows us to 
uh, carry stuff without worrying too much about it. Yeah. It would be a nightmare with lower strength. You see a tall, strong man in heavy armor and an Ushanka hat. He turns to you while simultaneously grabbing an automatic rifle hanging from his neck. Man, you know, you can just chill. It's, it's fine. Um, the old friends here. Well, well, well. The entrance to the city costs 30 rubles. It's free. No, it's fee. <laughs> 30? It's not too bad. It's a real ripoff. Give me a discount. Hmm. Where did this fee come from? Who came up with charging people for the entrance? Who? Our bosses, that's who. Surely you don't think that any street rat can freely walk into the city. For 30 rupees every time is... That's that's pricey. The guard gives you an angry look. Suddenly he blinks, as if having noticed something important about you. His eyes suddenly widen as he quickly steps back from you. He looks genuinely, or at least it seems so, terrified. Oh my my my! How come I didn't notice it straight away? You're Krasno's... You have Krasno's syndrome! No way! I can't let you, a sick man into the city. Epidemic is the last thing we need. Shit, woo man. This whole Krasno syndrome is just a rumor. There's no such thing. Maybe you're also infected. Let me see. Let's try it. <laughs> no, it didn't work. <laughs> you're leaning towards the guard to check his pulse, trying to look like you are you know what you're doing. However, it's obvious that your act isn't fooling anyone. The guard just grins and stop, stops you by lifting uh, the barrel of his uh, rifle. No way, sis. Don't try bullshitting me. S the sick person isn't the one to diagnose the healthy one. It would be good for you to get some help from the city hospital, but I can't let you in just like that. The man pretends to think really hard, then a mischievous grin appears on his uh, better beaten face. Oh, do I? <clears throat> oh, I do have a kind heart. I will let you pass, but for a thousand rubles. Are you for real? Where would I have this much money from? <laughs> the, the guard waves his hands in conciliation. Fine, 1000 rubles might be an overkill. Let's make it 500, but not a copec less. Oh, I'll be back. He wants to let me in for uh, 500 rubles. Which is never gonna happen. I'd rather kill him, kill the entire town, before I pay that much money just for me, him to let me in. But we might not have a choice here. Yeah, this is locked. Oi! Guard up there! Can we talk? The other guard is being a dick. What if I aim shot him in the head? <laughs> we just have to do it just because he's like a complete jerk. It has to be done. Even if you have to reload. Slightly injured. That's no good. Oh fuck. <laughs> that that was Stupid amounts of damage. <laughs> what if he's inaccurate at long ranges? So I kind of have a cover here.
Wait. You wanna hit me? We don't know who's... Wait. Oh, look at that. Can I shoot him? Oh, that's not gonna work so well. Shoot him in the head. Okay, shoot him in the chest. Oh, this looks dangerous. I think we're gonna get shot. But you can't see the target. Oh, that's good and bad. We can just... What the fuck? Isn't this the guy who thought I was the best ever? And now he just punched me out? What the fuck? <laughs> oh. What the hell? Also, what is with this? I know that uh, Fallout kind of followed the system as well. But I, over the time, I came to uh, prefer... Uh, a less spongy uh, fight system. So, you know, you get hit like a couple times and that's it. You're just, you're just gone. Instead of just like tanking hits. Uh, kind of like how I'm going down, but he's just like, got shot in the eye, 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 got shot in the eye. You know, how many, how many times you can get shot in the eyes? Just saying. Alright, unless we are ready to pay up, which we are definitely not ready to do. Uh, then we might need to go away, for now. But we probably need to pay up eventually. But I kind of want to adventure a little bit. Maybe get, get one level, that would be great. Even more health wouldn't help us much. So, let's check the map. We are in Krasno. Actually, we are con uh, contracted to do something in the Roaring Forest. We might go there. Yeah. I have many missions, but we can do that. If I could get better in fight at fighting, I don't know. Not sure if I can uh, increase my stats. It's not something that was easy to do in Fallout. Trading caravans. Let's do it. Hey man, let's talk. And he has some bullets. Uh, that's nice. Oh, not that. Cassette. Wait, that's that's exact price. Nails. I guess I'm just gonna take some bullets. Eh, okay, let's do it. Does this? Okay, he has a shield. What if he can attack people? I want wanna some action here. I'm not sure how much help Fido can be. We can attack from farther away. But how far? So it's only injured. What the fuck? What does it seem like he Oh, Fidel? That's awesome. Still only injured. <laughs> what? Yeah, Fidel went down. He's killed. Not went down. Killed. Dead. So 
So maybe we will be able to do a one-on-one, -on -one, but definitely not a fight. We can't take out the caravan. Um, uh, we probably should give Fidel a weapon. Okay, Fidel, where the fuck are you? We need to uh, have a chat. Close quarters combat is off. What we need you to do is... Never mind. You gotta use this Makarov pistol. First I'm gonna give it to you. Uh, with some ammo. Let's go like 20 for now. See if it works. Hopefully he's not gonna lose it because that's one of my main weapons. Let's discuss tactics. What's your situation with ammo? Should I give you some more bullets? Close. Okay, never mind. I'm I'm curious. We're just gonna do one thing. I'm gonna fight again. Hopefully Fidel... I told him to stay close. What if I shoot this guy in the head? And try to run away. Fidel has his fists ready. And I told him to not fight like that. Fidel, what the fuck are you doing, mate? Walk through? Oh. I'm walking through Fidel. Okay, let's talk. What about information? Information is not gonna do me anything. You see a Fidel. Great. Can you use the pistol? How do you, how do you use... Let's discuss... Tactics. We must stand close to each other. Deal. Idal, what the fuck? I need to figure this out on my own. Never mind, let's go. Fidal, we gotta go. We gotta go, mate. There's no time to screw around. I can't believe I gave him my gun. He's not even doing anything with it. Anyway, guys, this is a good time to take break. So thanks for watching and see you next time.